Atari, 20. No, 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 no. Um, 10. 10 dollars plus games. So here's what happened to me today. Um, I ended up stopping at this garage sale, um, and I had I got out. I was looking around for some games, and I spy a Super Nintendo propped up like this. I was like, "Ooh, Super Nintendo! Cool, cool, cool! Hopefully they'll have some games." I mean, I'm not that interested in a Super Nintendo. I already have one, but I mean, if it's cheap, I'll pick it up. Um, I was looking for some games, and next to what I see is Atari. Big old bucket full of Atari stuff. Ten bucks. So I go over to the people and I say, you know, is it uh, both crates for ten? They said yes. I said, okay. So I immediately went for my wallet to pull out ten bucks. I said, do you guys have any idea if they work? And they said, you know, they were given to us. We have no idea if they work. Sorry. And I said, that's completely okay. It's fair enough. Um, problem was, I didn't actually realize what all I had gotten till I got to my girlfriend's house to check it out. Um, luckily, once we got there, um, her um, her neighbor came over, and I had asked him, you know, uh, do you have any idea how to hook this thing up? And he was just like, oh my god, where did you find this? I was like, I got it for 10 bucks at the garage sale with some stuff. And he was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So he immediately just like flipped crap over it. So he really wanted to hook it up, and I'm glad that he knew how because I didn't. Plus, there was another problem. Um, this is the video and audio out cable right here it's like a standard RCA cable but um, the problem was was that they had the original owner had opened up the case and they had removed this cable and never put it back in and me not being familiar with Atari um, I had no idea where the power came where the video cable was I knew the power cable was here and I had no freaking I knew I had no freaking clue where the video cable came from and it looked like it came from here because there was a little hole here but I really had no idea so we realized or they had realized that you know the video cable was missing so he went over to go try and find a thing to hook it all up and uh, my girlfriend's dad ended up taking it apart and um, we found where you have to hook in the video cable anyways all that aside uh, got an Atari we were playing it earlier, so it does work, but right now at my dad's house, um, I, um, I'm i having difficulty playing it due to the coaxial bullcrap, so um, hopefully tomorrow morning I'll go to Radio Shack and buy a uh, RCA to coaxial adapter, but enough jibber-jabber, we've already wasted almost three minutes. Let's get to the goods. So it came with um, this cable, like I said, there's some controllers and whatnot. It came with this, uh, it's not official, it's a, it's an Archer adapter. So apparently Archer was like a third party um, Atari company or something, because they, I keep seeing their name pop up in all these different places. So, um, yeah, I got, it came with this power plug, this is the power plug that works. Everything was intact on that. And then, um, it also had this, this switch box, which, I mean, I understood that I needed it, but I didn't know how to use it, because it just had these two thingies on the end, and what is this, uh, the terminals, I think they're called? And I had no idea how to use that. And then um, her uh, her neighbor ran over to his house and ended up finding one of these, so we could actually connect it. And this is a, it converts the 300 megahertz signal down to a or not megahertz 300 ohm signal down to a 75 ohm um, RF little plug. So we needed this in order to play it. <clears throat> so we had this. Then he gave me that so that I could use it. And here's what else we got. We got one of these uh, Point Master controllers, which I've heard about. Um, I ended up using it. It's actually pretty cool, but I'm not really, you know, I'm not that big on Atari stuff, so I really don't know how well I am or how good I am at the game. So, but I've heard a lot of things saying that these controllers are just a bit too um, tall to be functional. Um, I did use one of these. This is a, an Archer brand, so yeah, they're definitely a third-party company. Hopefully this didn't get sorted out from being tied up so tightly all these years. Um, let's see, what else? It came with a, a paddle controller set, because they come in sets of two. And uh, one of the controllers, the top, the paddle had been removed, but that's okay, because that doesn't sound good. I can check it out and see what it does. Um, but, yeah, one of the paddles had been removed, so hopefully that's still working. Um, we didn't try out the paddle controller. I don't know if I have any paddle games. I played with this one. This one works. Um, I don't know what this is for. 
I know what it is, and I know it's probably for some game, so it'll probably tell me, hey, I need this. But I haven't looked into it yet. But uh, here's the part Here's the part that y'all really want to see, and here's all the games. i move this to the side. Here's the games. I had no idea there were this many games in here. I always hear stuff, you know, you, can, you always buy them in bulk. You always get, like, 50 billion games. But I didn't know that I got, like, 20-some games. I don't know, here's another power plug. I don't know what it's for. Anyways, let's go down the list. Um, skiing. Joust. Woohoo. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Arena. Gorf. Uh, Indy 500. I don't think I have a driving controller is the problem, so I may try and get one of those sometime. Um, adventure. Uh, Cosmic Arc. Um, this one, the label's missing. But this one's by Coleco. And I have another... Uh, there's a couple labels in the box. There's one right here. This one's Zaxxon. And I don't... Yeah, this one says 1982 Coleco. So this probably goes for this. This probably goes with this. This probably, this probably is Zaxxon, although... Personally, I would think that Zaxxon would have a black cartridge, but I don't know. It's not me. But apparently, this was also by Sega. Sega. Um, Star Raiders. Uh, the official carnival by Sega. Pitfall 2. Lost Caverns. Chopper Command. Vanguard. Sword Quest, Fire World. One of the non-rare ones. <laughs> um, Jungle Hunt. Another missing label. I don't know what this is, so once I get the Atari hooked up, I can look at a few of these games that have the missing labels and figure out what, are, what they are. I can let you guys know. Um, here's another one of the missing label. These are the Mattel games. Oh yeah, those funky cartridges. This isn't Parker's Brothers. This one's Mattel. That's why they got those cartridges. Um, Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> uh, here's another one, the missing label. Really don't know about this one. Hopefully it's like Berserk or something. That'd be awesome. I don't think I have Berserk. Um, here's Frogger. Frogger! Frogger! Frogger comes out of Tokyo! Come out of um, laser gates. Here, here's a label for a lock and chase. Maybe that's one of these things. I don't know. Um, Donkey Kong. Yeah, I was playing this one earlier. Or maybe I was playing Donkey Kong Jr. I don't know. Donkey Kong Jr. Hubert. Woo! -hoo. Um, E.T. Lol. Uh, let's see. We got eight minutes. What we got here? Championship Soccer. Ice Hockey. Night Driver. Still no freaking driving controller. Oh, wait, this works with paddle controller. Sweet. Um, Asteroids. I got some good arcade titles here. There's the first Pitfall. We got another missing label one. Video Pinball. Here's uh, Crystal Castles. And uh, so we're pushing nine minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And uh, I'll be right back then. Peace out, guys. See ya.